Let us learn about hemovigilance, also known as blood safety, or blood vigilance. Do you know, how many units of blood are donated every year, in this world? It is, more than 118 million units. What is hemovigilance? Hemovigilance refers to the monitoring, reporting, investigation and analysis of adverse events related to the donation, processing and transfusion of blood, and taking action to prevent their occurrence or recurrence. Besides, the European Union Directive, defines hemovigilance as, a set of organized surveillance procedures relating to serious adverse or unexpected events or reactions in donors or recipients, and the epidemiological follow-up of donors. Hemovigilance is the set of surveillance procedures covering the entire blood transfusion chain, from the donation and processing of blood and its components, through to their provision and transfusion to patients, and including their follow-up. Hemovigilance can identify transfusion hazards and demonstrate the effectiveness of interventions. The reporting systems play a fundamental role in enhancing patient safety by learning from failures and then putting in place system changes to prevent them in future. Let us learn about the life cycle of blood, that includes donation, storage, transportation, screening, segregation, and transfusion. Blood transfusion is an important aspect, that includes the transfusion reactions. Besides, we can even have other incidents, in this life cycle. We will now learn in detail, about the transfusion reactions. Adverse effects of transfusion, are commonly classified as infectious or non-infectious, acute or delayed, caused by errors or pathological reactions, and by their severity. Historically, transfusion transmitted infections dominated the transfusion safety agenda, but they are now rare in developed countries. However, constant vigilance is required to counter the risk from established and newly emergent pathogens in the era of mass international travel. The infectious are mainly viral, bacteria, or protozoal. Besides, novel transfusion transmissible agents, such as prions, have also emerged to threaten the safety of the blood supply. Non-infectious transfusion reactions include hemolytic, non-hemolytic, and other reactions. Hemolytic reactions may be, either acute, or delayed. The non-hemolytic reactions may include allergies, fever, hypotension, or other serious transfusion-associated reactions. Other transfusion reactions include increased blood potassium or ferritin levels. Besides, we can even have unclassifiable complications of transfusion. By causality, we mean the related assessment between the transfusion, and the adverse event. Causal relationship is considered, to be definite, or certain, when there is conclusive evidence beyond reasonable doubt, that the adverse event can be attributed to the transfusion. Probable, or likely, when the evidence is clearly in favor of attributing the adverse event to the transfusion. Possible, when the evidence is indeterminate for attributing the adverse event to the transfusion, or an alternate cause. Unlikely or doubtful, when the evidence is clearly in favor of attributing the adverse event to causes, other than the transfusion. Excluded, when there is conclusive evidence beyond reasonable doubt, that the adverse event can be attributed to causes other than the transfusion. There are four grades of severity. Grade 1 is non-severe, where the recipient may have required medical intervention or symptomatic treatment, but lack of such would not result in permanent damage or impairment of a body function. 
Grade 2 is severe, where the recipient required inpatient hospitalization or prolongation of hospitalization directly attributable to the event, and, or, the adverse event resulted in persistent or significant disability or incapacity, or the adverse event necessitated medical or surgical intervention to preclude permanent damage or impairment of a body function. Grade 3 is life-threatening, when the recipient requires major intervention following the transfusion, to prevent death. Grade 4 is fatality, when the recipient dies following an adverse transfusion reaction. Grade 4 should be used only if death is possibly, probably or definitely related to transfusion. If the patient died of another cause, the severity of the reaction should be graded as 1, 2 or 3. It is necessary to report transfusion reactions, to the regulatory agencies. Most agencies require, notification of serious or severe transfusion reactions, within 15 calendar days. Some agencies require notification of non-severe or non-serious transfusion reactions, in 60 or 90 calendar days. What did we learn, today? We started off by learning the definition of hemovigilance. We then learnt about the objectives of hemovigilance. We also learnt about the transfusion reactions, including the severity and relatedness assessment. Finally we learnt about the regulatory reporting requirements. We trust you found this useful. Feel free to contact us in case there are any questions, comments, or even suggestions. Also, we request you to subscribe to our channels.